Ta-da! For this three minute rules, we will be looking at the combat phase, and in particular, the rules for taking a break test. All of this can be found on page 54 of the large 8th edition rulebook. The losing unit in a combat must pass a leadership test or flee. This break test is modified by the amount by which the unit lost the combat, unless of course the unit that lost is steadfast. To show you this rule, let's use the example that we've used previously of these dwarf warriors and the high elf spearmen. We'll give you two examples, one in which the high elves are not steadfast, and one in which the high elves are indeed steadfast. Here's the setup for the break test rule without the steadfast rule involved. As you can see here, each of these units has two additional ranks to the first rank of five or more models, meaning that they are tied in the number of ranks that they have, and that means that the high elves will not get the steadfast rule. A break test is simply a leadership test that has been modified by the results of the combat. In this case, the dwarves beat the high elves 7 to 6, which means that the high elves have to modify their leadership by one point, the difference in the combat. So their leadership goes now from an 8 down to a 7. That means we have to rule a 7 or less in order for them to stay put and not flee. And here goes our leadership roll for the high elves. And it is a 9, so they have failed their leadership test. They will turn around and flee. Had the High Elves rolled a 7 or less, they would have stayed put for a future combat in the next round. And here now you see the setup when our Steadfast rule is in play. You can see that the High Elves have far more ranks than the Dwarves. So even though they lost this combat 7 to 6, they are now able to roll on their unmodified leadership of 8. And rolling a 4, that is 8 or less, so they stay put for another combat. It is important to note that the steadfast rule here that the High Elves are using is still in play even if they are attacked in the flank or the rear. That they are attacked in the flank or the rear does not negate the fact that the High Elves have more ranks and more bodies in their unit, which gives them the confidence they need to remain firm and roll on their unmodified leadership. And with that, we come to the conclusion of this three-minute rules on the combat phase and taking a break test. Thank you for joining us here today at Grey Army Gaming for the future of fantasy.